Welcome to a new episode of Hot Warriors, where today, just a typical episode, we play a couple games, hopefully get a couple wins, and open up some packs. Now we have Zabinijad, Crosby, Kachuk, Aho, Zegers, Konechny, Richard, Lindbergh, and Nasher, and then Musty, Tavares, and Forsberg. On defense, we're running Doughty with Lindstrom, Yossi with McAvoy, Makara with Ekholm, and in net, we're still using Robin Leonard. We've been using Robin Leonard since October 10th. The team is going to be changing right here, right now, as not only do we have an X-Factor player choice pack, but we also have an Icon player choice pack. We're going to be adding someone new to the team for sure. Now, our defense is pretty set, if I'm being honest with you. I don't think we need any more X-Factor or Icon defensemen. However, if we get a goalie here, that would be big. I think it might be time to try out getting a X-Factor or Icon goalie, either or, just a goalie. But uh, we'll see what we get in any of these packs, but I think we're going to go forward for both if we get forwards. So let's start with the Icon Player Choice Pack. See what we get here. I'm looking for Gretzky, Lemieux, you know, obviously the big ones here. Uh, let's go three. Uh, let's go down the middle. Let's go down the middle here and see who we get. Michael Pekka. All right. Now, hopefully one of the other two cards is better than Michael Pekka. Card number one. We're going to get... Okay, Timo Solani. All right. Not Gretzky, Lemieux, not how, but a very good card. And we'll help out with the speed on the team. Okay. If this is Gretzky, Lemieux, or Howe, we'll probably end up taking them. Otherwise, we'll take Solani, and it's going to be Brett Hall, who is the exact opposite of speed. So, Team Solani going to be added to the squad, a great addition. And again, because he's a forward every 10 points, he will go up in overall. So, when he gets his first 10 points on the team, he'll go up to an 86. We'll see if we can get that quickly done over the next few episodes. Now for the X-Factor player choice pack. Let's see what we get. Hopefully, we get McDavid or McCarr or... Uh, I can't even think of who else, maybe like Suzuki. I mean, I don't think it matters, right? We're not going to get them to 99, but I want someone good, right? We just want somebody good to add to the team. Started off with Jordan and Kairou. We do get a forward at least, so if we want, we can add him. However, he is right-handed. Solani also being right-handed, that'd be a tough add, so not sure. Card number two, we get Jack Eichel, another right-handed forward, but I would say Eichel is likely going to be better than Kairou to have on the team. And cart number three, give me that damn Connor McDavid. No, we get Anne Renee Debien, and she is a goalie. Do we take Anne Renee Debien to be our new goalie here in Hut Warriors? She has not gotten an upgrade at all this year. They have not given her a single card. Wow. All right. Um, we don't have a goalie X Factor. We're going to take the goalie X Factor. We have a new goalie here in Hut Warriors. Who knows how this is going to change the team dynamic. This could uh, really make or break the series. Shout out to Robin Leonard for being here since October 10th, but it's time for a change. Now, we made the decision early in the year where if we get a goalie, we have to add them. And guess what? We got a goalie. So there it is. And Rene Debian. Now for goalies, it's going to be every five wins or every shutout. They're going to get an upgrade. So if we do manage to get a shutout, at least it makes it into the second period of a game and they rage quit and they have zero goals, they will get an automatic upgrade. However, with that being said, they, I mean, Debian only has like three slots to upgrade. So hopefully uh, it doesn't happen too quickly. That's unreal. A look at what I think the line should be right now. So we're going to have Crosby with the Kachuk and Solani. Second line of Nasher, Zabinijad, and Zegris. Aho, Lindbergh, and Konechny. And then we'll have Richard with Tavares and Musty. What I'm going to do is just cycle through my lines, right? So... Yeah, I want our first line out there to get something done, but every line will get some playing time so we can try and get some upgrades for every single player on the ice. Defense is not going to change, so that's fine. And of course, we have our new goalie. Let's get into our first game and see how we do. Now, of course, if we win a game here today, we get a silver reroll. If we win by three or more or a rage quit, we get a gold reroll. And if we win both games in today's episode, we'll get that 83 overall choice pack. Not so sure how much that's actually going to help us, but we will get that extra pack anyways if we win both games here today. Let's go ahead and hop into our first game, hopefully pick up a dub as we work our way towards Division 2. All right, we have a game. We have Wigamus Maximus, 95 McDavid, 95 McKinnon, 95 Heiskinen. Oh, dear God. I am absolutely terrified to see how this game is going to turn out, but let's go ahead and get into it and try and have some fun. All right, well, this is going to be fun. Guy's team is fast as hell. Here's Mika Zabinijad. Come on, buddy. To Zegris, big save, another big save. Not sure who the goalie is there. But a good start to the game so far. Oh, yeah, I forgot. It's burst. These periods are very short. I will do what I can to try and get some kind of commentary this week during Rivals Burst. All right, Zeegs gets absolutely crushed. That's all right. That's all right. You know, 10 minutes in. We have uh, the only shots on goal so far, so that's a good sign. Here comes Connor McDavid. That's not a good sign. 
Come on, get him. Good poke by Zegris and by Nash to free up that puck. Solani with it. Oh, dear, man. They're, 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 the team's just so fast. Nash at the point. Can't stop Chelios. There's a save from Anne-Rene Debian, though. We have our first career save from Anne-Rene Debian here in Hut Warriors. Gonna try and uh, cheat on defense a bit here to make him make more mistakes. But, yeah, this is gonna be a tough game. Eight seconds to go here in the period. These go by very quickly. Kachuk keeps that puck. Hold on. Can't get it on goal. Solani does his first shot as a warrior. However, we're going to end this period at a 0-0 game. This guy's team is just so quick. It's going to be really hard to keep up with. Stats after one. Fairly even. Let's take a look at this guy's team. And it is a god squad. 92 Andrew Chuck. He's got the team builder Arnett. And there's Chris Chelios, 93. McCabe, 93. Nash, team builder. Pronger at 92. Solani at 92. Sundin at 91. Thornton at 92. What? How do you get all these community request cards? There's Gretzky. There's McKinnon. McDavid. He's got uh, Nylander at 93. The goalie's McLean at a 90. Interesting. Well, let's see if we can do something here in the second period. We survived the first. And that's, you know, a good sign. But we need to get on the board here. So let's see if we can make it happen. Crosby in, loses it at the last second. Oh my, Drew Doughty scores. I didn't even, <laughs> I didn't think that was going. I didn't even look at the X-Factor points before the game. Like, holy, Drew Doughty gives us the lead. Let's go. I'm glad it went in. Didn't expect it to go in. One zip. Oh, that's a terrible mistake. I gave up that puck, and Lindstrom's gonna pick up that puck coming back. Holy, that was uh, that was a close one. That's for sure. Good hit by Doughty, freeze that puck, and now we can clear it. Lindstrom's still out there though, man. I can't get him off the ice. That puck's gonna go. Okay, Lindstrom, get off the damn ice. Now is your chance. Okay, or Lindstrom's just not gonna get off the ice. Lindstrom and Doughty are still out there. I can't get them off. I love this game. I love this game. I love this game. Solani to Kachuk. Kachuk still has it. To Solani or not off his skate. Oh, man, that would have been a great opportunity, but Solani just couldn't find the puck there. And we take a penalty. I love NHL 24. We're going to push here, try and free the puck up. So obviously he'll win on any normal draw. We do get it there. Ajo's going to bring it out, and Ajo's going to have a step. Very slow. Coming in on a breakaway and scores. Sebastian Ajo on the breakaway gets a goal. Short-handed. An assist to Yossi and Zabinijad. And we're up 2-0 here in the second period. That's a big goal. Oh, no. Big giveaway. Come on, Anne Renee. And that does not go. Anne Renee stands tall. I don't think she made the save, but you know, that's fine. We are still up by two. All right, period's about to end. Maybe we get one last chance here. Or maybe we give up the puck and give him one last chance. I missed that hit. Kachuk comes in. And Anne Renee with a huge save. Let's go. Seven seconds to go in the period. We are no longer shorthanded. We're going to clear that puck, and we're going to head in to the third period, up by two. Stats after two, and Renee has made six saves so far, and we are the only one to take a penalty. Now, the problem is with the team at the moment. I want to point this out so that everyone's going to get some ice time. The problem is right now is that we are playing in burst, and getting the fourth line out there is near impossible, so I apologize. Lidstrom and Doughty were on the ice for about half the period there, taking up all the ice time on defense. I'm going to try and not cycle them out until near the end of the period here in the third to give some ice time to the other D-men. Good hit by Ekholm there. That's why we have you out there on the ice. Make those big plays, and now you have the puck. Ekholm is in to Solani, and Solani gets robbed by McLean. What a huge opportunity. Solani in again. Scores in his debut. Makes it 3 nothing. Ekholm did a lot of work in that play, and Solani caps it off, making it 3-zip. His first point as a warrior, unfortunately, no assists there. But a big goal giving us a three-goal lead. If we can hang on to this, we get a gold reroll. Good draw by McAvoy in the corner there, freeing up that puck. Yossi goes in, hits Matthews, and gets the puck himself. Look at this, man. The team's playing so well. Doesn't matter if you're 78 overall or whatever. We're getting it done. Let's get another, another one here, actually. You know what? There's Crosby in all alone, and he's not able to score there. That's a big save, keeping it a three-goal game. Six minutes to go here. I thought it was over for sure, but that one keeps him in it. Not a lot of big chances from our opponent. And Renee standing strong in her debut. Three minutes to go here. Ah, he got bumped there. All right, a minute to go. Come on, guys. Keep him off the board. Do not let him score one. We go around the net. 
Lidstrom will able to get the hit. Going behind the net again. A little fake out, but he loses the puck. And Doughty picks it up. And that puck is cleared. 18 seconds to go. And Anne Renee, in her debut, may shut this guy out. I said it out loud, but 12 seconds to go here. Do not make me regret it. And it looks like he's going to put the controller down and walk away. But we're going to go for more points. And unfortunately, probably not going to happen. Regardless, we are going to walk away with not only a three goal win, but a shutout for the debut of Anne Renee Debian. One last shot from Doughty, not going to go, but we do walk away with a big victory. We get a gold reroll. We get to upgrade Anne Renee Debian. And how many points do we get for that one? 12 points for the win. Thank you. Now, who did what? Solani had two points in that game. My bad. Doughty had one. Yossi had one. Aho had one. And Kachuk had one. Again, these burst games are tough to go through. Your final stats here. We had more shots. He had more TOA. And at the end of the day, you got shut out by Anne Rene. Apologies for not looking at the X-Factors and icons before the game. We'll find out if anyone has an upgrade. But obviously, we do have an upgrade. And it's going to be Anne Rene Debian getting her first win and first shutout on the team. What an addition. Let's go. Timo Solani is 8 points away from an upgrade. Sidney Crosby is 10 points away from an upgrade. Matthew Kachuk is 7 points away from an upgrade. Trevor Zegras is 5 points away from an upgrade. Travis Konechny is 3 points away from an upgrade. Sebastian Ajo is 7 points away from an upgrade. And Maurice Bouchard is 6 points away from an upgrade. On defense, it's every 5. So Drew Doughty is currently 3 points away from an upgrade. Nicholas Lidstrom is 1 point away. Let's make that happen. We got Charlie McAvoy, who is 5 points away from an upgrade. Roman Yossi, who is 4 points away from an upgrade. And Akhil Makar, who has 0 points in 4 games, is still 5 points away from an upgrade. I'm wondering if we move Makar up and try and get him going. We'll see what happens after the next game. Now, of course, for the win, we won by 3 or more there. We get our gold to re-roll, so we can see if we're going to be adding anyone to the team, though I do doubt it's going to happen. We get a light, actually, you know what, 84 Pedersen. That's probably an addition, let's be real. We can put Pedersen in above Tavares or in Musty. Other than that, like, we're not getting rid of the X-Factors, obviously. We're not going to get rid of Nasher here, but we can get rid of JT, and I think we're going to do it. I do believe Pedersen's a better skater, so it just makes sense to have him on the squad instead of JT. But JT was here for a while. Thank you for being here, but that also turns on two-way forward. So yeah, that definitely makes sense to add Pedersen to the squad. Let's go ahead and hop into game number two of the episode if we win. We get our win streak reward and our other pack, of course, but we're looking for more upgrades. And we're looking for Anne Renee to repeat that last performance. Only six saves, but those six saves led to a shutout. I'm going to have to message EA and see if I can get them to give Anne Renee an upgrade. So that way we can upgrade her further if, she, you know, hypothetically, she gets uh, a shutout in this game and then we do another episode like she's already maxed out. You know what I mean? So we got to we got to see about getting her an upgrade. All right, we have our game. It's DJ Skate to Foley. I, that's not his name at all. Gretzky, McDavid, Makar. We're just running into God Squads today. Unfortunate. All right, Division Three matchup against another God Squad. Let's see if we can get it done. What a save, and Renee. Oh my! Did we find a goalie? Did we just find a goalie? Holy, and Renee! What a save to start out this game. Lindstrom in scores! Nick Lindstrom gets that point we were talking about. And that is an upgrade for Nick Lindstrom here in this game. We're up one zip. We're off to a hot start. Let's see if we can keep it up. And Renee with a big save. Lindstrom with the goal and the upgrade. Let's see if we can keep it going. Three on one developing. Zegers keeps it. And unfortunately, he did get down there. That was a good smart play there because I was definitely looking for the far side shot. But hey, another good opportunity as we had a three-on-one early in this game. And here we come again. I don't know. We might actually do well in this game. We're letting him make the first move. He's going for hits. So if we can escape the hits like this here. Oh, my. Solani was open. But yeah, he's going for the big hits. If we can escape the hits, we'll have wide open walkouts like this. And a lot of opportunities all game. So hopefully he keeps going for them. Big saves, big saves, and Rene. This is the best goalie in the game. Holy crap, what is happening? Here comes Timo Solani, and he's flying on the forehand. Oh, he gets tripped up. Is that a piece shot? It is going to be a penalty shot for Timo Solani. Oh, boy. What do we do on this one? You know what? I have a move that I do, and you guys have seen it on the channel a ton. 
where you skate in as fast as possible and stop at the hash marks. It usually makes the player think you're going to skate straight into them, so they go for a flying poke. So let's see if they go for it. And they're not. They're just going to sit. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, 2 nothing. Team Usulani, what just happened? McAvoy to Zegris. Zegris has it. Gets absolutely trucked, and here comes Solani the other way. Uh-oh. Come on. Get back, Yossi. He's going to stop. Yep. And, and Renee with the save. Oh, my. Do we have a goalie? This is insane. She just does not allow anything here. Nasher in. Loses that puck, unfortunately. 47 seconds to go here in the first. He's coming again on a really fast rush. Yossi gets a stick in. Seven seconds to go. You want to just clear the puck. Get out of this period. And we are going to escape up by two after one. This guy's running around going for hits. And while he's going to connect on a lot of them, if he misses a few, we have wide open opportunities from it. We need to capitalize on them. Your stats after one. Well, we have two goals on three shots, but we have a lead in TOA. Let's take a look at our opponent's squad. He's got the 93 Hosa, 94 Leach, 94 Solani, 99 Doughty, 94 Hamilton, 95 Gretzky, 95 Howe, Team of the Year McDavid, uh, 93 Kucherov, Nylander at 94, Marner at 95, Eichel at 94, and the goalie today is going to be Olaf Kolzig at a 92. We've beaten Oli the goalie a couple times already. Let's see if we can keep it up, and hey, I mean, so far so good. Ah, Gretzky's going to get one on and Renee there. An unfortunate bounce leads to a wide open shot. She almost had it, but Gretzky with close quarters makes it 2-1. to one. The first goal given up by Anne Renee Debian four periods later. I'm not upset. Where are you going, Mika? Man, that sucks. But Anne Renee with a big save. Mika was just skating towards the bench. He wasn't playing defense at all. I don't know why he was back there on defense in the first place, but that was uh, that was interesting. Good block by Doughty. Going to clear that puck. I can't get a line change here, though. Like, my guys will not get off the ice. We're having that issue again here. And Yossi makes a good D play. And Renee, do you want to cover that puck? 25 seconds to go. Get a fresh line out there. But, like, nobody will change. I, I just don't get it. Looks like Timu salani has been injured for the game. That's not good. That's our first liner. That's definitely going to hurt heading into the third period. However, as we head into the third, we are still up by one. Your stats after two. We only have four shots on goal. Guy's taking over the game, using his speed, which is a smart thing to do, and he is throwing a ton of hits and just crushing our team. So let's see if we can uh, turn this around here. Uh, able to hit Kucherov, and unfortunately, it's going to lead to a penalty. All right, 18-35 to go here in the third period. We're shorthanded. Timu Solani's hurt. This is going to be a tough period to overcome. Good job by Zegris. Clears that. And unfortunately, he's obviously... Okay, apparently he is as fast as Quinn Hughes. Uh, that makes sense. That's fine with me. As we still have possessions. A bit of jet out in front. Can't get that one to go. And I tried getting it back to Zegris there. Couldn't get it through. But a good uh, job there. Killing a minute of the penalty. There's a shot. And Renee with the save. Come on, get down. Do not let him shoot this puck. Got McCarr with Heat Seeker out there, so he's going to try and take shots with him, you would think. Puck's down low. Lidstrom can't get Gretzky. There's Hughes with a shot. Doughty with the block. Can't clear the puck, though. Lidstrom, hold on. Up to Crosby. The puck is out. The penalty's killed. Has that puck. There we go. Yep, gets it back. Then gets crushed. Killing some time, but not able to get any offensive zone time here, really. We're killing some time, but we're not getting, like, shots or anything. There's a shot. Yossi deflected that, and Andrew Nay with a big save. Here comes Yossi. Yossi's in. Shoots. Nope, not able to... Again, can't get that shot off. Guy's all over us. Could chuck out in front, and I'm not sure if that was a save or off the post. He does get it back here. Seven to go in the period. Could chuck, shoots, saved by... I forget who's in that. Uh-oh, here's Matthews. He's going to try and force it. Good drive by McCarr to break that up. Pedersen with it. We are very close to winning this game. And here comes Ekholm, a two-on-one. He shoots. It's saved by Olaf Kolzig. There's only 30 seconds left now. Makar, out in front. Musty can't get a stick on it. And here he comes the other way. Come on, shut him down. Kucherov with it. Gets hit by Ekholm. Ekholm cannot get the puck. Now he does. And it's not clear. Kucherov gets it back. Kucherov going to look for the force. Makar with a good D play. Ekholm going to clear it. Richard gets it out and deep. And there's only eight seconds to go. One last rush here. Kucherov gets crushed. Solani with it. 
Ours was injured earlier. His whiff it. He forces it and scores with less than a second to go. We are tied. He injures our Solani, and then his Solani makes a play as Richard's not able to pick up that easy pass. And we are tied and going to overtime. Your stats here, pretty damn even. We are headed into OT here, and here's your game tying goal. It was, and you know, you knew the force was coming. I tried to get down to block it, just didn't get the right angle. And then Richard and, and Renee had a chance to just, you know, poke it, do something with it. And did that go through his stick? It went through his stick, like legitimately through, it looks like. Maybe I can't get it in the right spot, but like either way, that's tough. And here we are in overtime. Zegers with it. Wait, hold on. Aho scores just like that. Sebastian Aho on the two on one and we win in overtime. That was really easy. <laughs> I didn't expect it to go in like that, like just a literal two on one that developed out of nothing. And we do win our second game of the episode. How many points for that one? 11, we're up to 1690. And those are your final stats there. Solani picks up two more points. Doughty picks up two more points. Lidstrom gets one, Aho gets one, and Zegers gets one. Some big games from some big players. And Renee with her second win. Let's go get some upgrades and our packs. We won in overtime. That means we won by one, which is only a silver reroll. But we'll see if we get anything in our pack here. You never know. And of course, we do get our win streak rewards, which is a guaranteed 83 or better. Probably nothing in there. We get Joel Blomquist and... Uh, Luke Shen, so we're not going to be adding anyone there. And I doubt we add anyone from the 83 overall choice pack, but you never know, I guess. Morgan Riley, Johnny Gaudreau, don't think we'll be adding anyone from here either. Now, I know for a fact Nick Lidstrom is getting an upgrade. He got his fifth point there, meaning he is up to an 87 overall, and that is a speed boost as well. That is awesome to see. Drew Doughty is one point away from becoming an 87. See if we can make that happen in the next episode. Charlie McAvoy still five points away, Roman Yossi four points away, and Kale McCarr has yet to register a point. Timo Solani, four points in two games in his debut, very happy with that, he's six away from becoming an 86. Sidney Crosby still 10 points away from becoming an 87. We have Matty Kachuk, who is seven points away, Trevor Zegras four points away, Travis Konechny three points away, Sebastian Ajo is five, and Richard is six. That's going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and we'll see y'all next week with another episode of Hot Warriors. But damn, that was fun. Can't forget about our MVP and Rene Debian picking up two wins here today with a 0.98 goals against and an 88.89 save percentage. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay frosty.